Okay, story problem solvers, let's do this thing. So if you're watching this, that means you have completed in your home connections book, um, the blue math book, you've completed page 25 and page 26. So the front and the back. And if you haven't done that yet, I want you to stop, go do that and then come back because I'm going to be checking, helping you check your answers, all right? So it tells us, um, at the top, what we need to do. It says we're supposed to underline the facts and put a box around the question first, okay? So let me grab out a marker so that you can see it better. Um, the first one says there were 10 ladybugs sitting on a leaf. A bird came and chased four of them away. How many ladybugs were left? So the important information is what in there? The important information is that there were 10 ladybugs sitting on the leaf, right? So we have to underline that 10 ladybugs sitting on a leaf, four of them were chased away. That's important information. And it says to put a box around the question, how many ladybugs were left? So put a box around that one if you haven't already. All right, and then you can solve it any number of ways. It's a good idea to solve it in at least two ways, right? I, I prefer to not just have an equation. I would like to see two ways or to know you solved it in two different ways. So one way is you could use, you can get this all moved over to the right side, right? White ones on the right side, it rhymes. And you could move 10 ladybugs over, okay? And then it says a bird came and chased four of them away. So we could, we could chase four of them away and we could count up how many were left here, right? And an equation that would work for that would be 10 minus four. And do you know what that equals? Because you checked with your beads, you had six beads left six ladybugs left. You could, instead of drawing pictures of ladybugs, I don't really want you to do that because that takes a lot of time. We'll save that for our art projects. And for this, we're just gonna do quick little dots for 10 ladybugs. Four of them were chased away and you could put a big circle around the rest of them and that would prove to me that there were six left. So if you put an equation and a picture, on here, I would be so happy. If you put an equation and you also checked with your number rack, I would be so happy, okay? So now let's do number two. It says there are four ladybugs on the leaf. How many legs in all? Oh my goodness, ladybugs have six legs. Okay, so this one, this is like almost multiplication, right? Groups, okay, so we have four ladybugs. One, two, three, four four ladybugs and they each have six legs. You could do this with the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You could do it like that, right? And then you could count up all the legs. You could do that six legs plus six legs plus six legs plus six legs. So you could do an equation, six plus six plus six plus six right? Did you think of even another way to do it? You, you're going to run out of, of um, beads if you do it this way. So maybe the number rack is not a very good way to solve this one. Um, what's six plus six? What's double sixes? 12, right? So it, this is like six plus six plus six plus six is like 12 plus 12 more, which is how many altogether? 12 plus 12. 24 legs. Wow. You had some problems like that with, um, with mittens, remember? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot. We were supposed to underline what was important. There are four ladybugs on the leaf. That's important. Four ladybugs. I'm going to underlined for ladybugs. And it's also important to know that ladybugs have six legs, okay? And then the question is how many legs in all? So we have to put a box around how many legs in all. And now we know that there are 
24. And if you got the wrong answer, you can erase and you can fix it and change your equation, change your picture so that it matches up. Okay, we're already on the back. Story problem number three says, there were five ladybugs on a leaf. Some more ladybugs came. Then there were 12 ladybugs on the leaf. How many ladybugs came? Okay, so it's important to know that there were five ladybugs at first, right? Then there were 12, then there were 12 ladybugs on the leaf. That's important. First there were five, then there were 12. It doesn't mean that 12 more came, it mean, meant it means that um, first there were five, then some more came and added to that, and then the total was 12. How many ladybugs came? So we need to put a box around that because that's what we're trying to figure out. How many ladybugs came? Okay, so you could use your number rack, squish them all over to the white side. You could move 12 ladybugs all together. That's how many there are all together, right? 12. And at first, there were only five. So this is what, what there was at first. All together, then there were 12. So this is the number that came, right? Or on your whiteboard, you could draw 12 quick ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Super quick ladybugs, right? And you could put a circle around five of them because those were the ones that were there first. One, two, three, four, five. And then you could count the rest. And then you would know that five plus seven equals 12. Seven ladybugs showed up. So you could do an equation. You could do a picture. You could do an equation and then check with your number rack. It's a good idea to use two different strategies. You have to show me something here, right? So you could show me the equation and then check your number rack. And I wouldn't know for sure that you did your number rack, but I would guess, right? Or you could do a picture here and an equation here. All right. Okay. Mark has three dogs, five cats, and eight fish. How many pets does he have in all? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Where's my number rack? My desk is getting really messy, you guys. Whew. Okay, so you could move over three dogs. You could move over five cats. And you could move over eight fish. And you could check how many that was all together on your number rack, okay? Or you could three plus five plus eight you can write out your equation you could do a dot for each pet so one two three and then one two three four five and then one two three four five six seven eight and you could count up all of the pets for the total so the total for this one is 16. and again i get too excited about solving the story problems you guys I forget to underline the critical information. Okay, so it's important to know that three dogs, five cats, eight fish. It's important to know all those things that there were that many. And then the question is how many pets does he have in all? So we have to put a box around. How many pets does he have in all? Okay, the challenge, I'm not gonna give you the answer. I'm gonna have you solve it. It says, here are two clues. Carly has two more nickels than dimes in her pocket. She has 40 cents. How many nickels does Carly have? How many dimes does Carly have? Show your work. So I am going to just give you a clue that if you didn't remember, a, a nickel is worth five cents, right? This is a nickel. I'm going to put an N for nickel and it's worth five cents. And this is a dime, so I'm gonna put a D, and a dime is 10 cents. So I want you to solve this and then I want you to check with an adult at your house or wherever you are, whoever's helping you with your schoolwork, see what they think. And if you can, if they're busy, um, try the drop-in time at 12.30 either today or tomorrow 
if it's already passed today, and I will help you with this one. I'll help you check it, okay? Okay. Remember, if, if you watch this and if some of your answers were different, make sure your answers match up and make sure you understand why um, I, why the answer is the way it is. Um, and if you don't understand, check with me, okay? Because I want you to, to get it. I want it to feel like, oh yeah, I've got this story problem thing down, okay? Good job, mathematicians. <laughs>